Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you've ever ran a small business or you're currently running one yourself and you're a perfectionist like I am, you'll always come back to the same problem. And that problem is that there's not two of you to get things done. That's exactly what we're going to be solving in today's video. We're going to be checking off one more thing on your to-do list as a business owner that you don't have to worry about. By the end of this video, you'll see exactly how I set up this entire CRM marketing agent for a home service business to not only capture leads and save them to a database, but to send them real quotes immediately based on their property and send them to a database like this. So we see that we recently just had a new entry into our database. Mr. Trimothy Green signed up for mulch installation for a one-time service. And you see that there's no quotes here. So once a lead is received, this workflow will get the lead from Airtable, search the property itself to get the lot size, and then it'll go directly into our quote calculator, which will do a few things. Just like you would, it would look at how big the property is and calculate the quote for every service that they signed up for. And it would look at if they signed up for monthly or bi-weekly service, they would be offered a discount as well. Lastly, the quote calculator does one more cool thing and that's randomly assign a customer promo group. So let's hop back over to our Airtable and you'll notice one of two things. You'll notice that now we have a mulch quote, which we did not have before. And Trimothy Green is under the promo two discount group. And we can grab our phone and see that we have a new draft sitting to Mr. Trimothy himself saying, thanks for filling out our form. We have received your request and it gives him the quotes and asks if he needs anything else and cheers from the law and order team. It also CCs our valued employee, Julian, to be able to let our team know that we have sent out a new quote. So hopping back over to N8N, once that is set up, we then take it even further and we have a full AI agent that will write monthly promos and split test them to our customers to see which promos work best. And this AI agent will first write the promos and then send the promos out calling this workflow. We'll go ahead and run this and you'll see that it first writes the promos and then it will send the promos out. So hopping over to our Airtable, we see that we have two promos here, promo one and promo two with the discount value. Promo one is a percent basis discount and promo two is a flat rate dollar discount. And you'll see that we have an email body here giving the discount and it will give a promo value and write an email body just as your marketing team would do or you would do. And next, after it writes the promos, it will then send them out. So we'll call this workflow, get the customers that signed up for the newsletters, filter based on which promo group they're in. So you can switch this and have multiple promo groups, but we only have promo one and promo two. So we'll get the promo one that our marketing agent wrote, match it with the customers and send out a batch of emails for those customers. And it will do the same for customers in promo group two. And we can go back to our phone and see all the drafts that it just saved. We can even type in Trimothy's here and see that it just sent him a promo code for a $40 discount and to reach out and respond to this email to get this discount applied today and cheers from the lawn and order team. You could even tailor it to run specific sales if your business is seasonal or if you have an event coming up. And that would all be done within the AI agent prompting. So if you're interested in how I set this up, stay tuned as we jump right into it. But this is a continuation of a case study for the course that I released to my community. The case study started as a simple paragraph problem from a business owner just like this. And it just explains what the problem that we're gonna be trying to solve and what we want the automation to do. So it wants to capture leads from a form on a website, send out weekly promotional newsletters, offering discounts, and it wants to create an automation to store and capture those leads in a database and send out those newsletters based on the actual business and have one employee to notify every time a new lead comes in. So in the course that I released to the community, go step by step on how I break down this entire case study and way more in depth into the planning approach of it. And it ends up looking something like this where I go over the planning, what we need and the flow. But to keep this video concise, let's just jump right into in Aiden where I'll walk through the workflow. And if you're interested in seeing how I set this up step-by-step step really intricately, where I explain everything as detailed as possible and manually walk through building this entire thing, or if you just want the entire JSON code for this entire project, I'll also be uploading that to my community. So go ahead, join, send me a DM whenever you get in there and say what's up. But to keep going along with this video, I'll just walk step-by-step step through each node and how it works. We start with this Airtable trigger here. And for this to work, you will need to have an Airtable database already set up. So if you hop over to Airtable, so you see I have this database set up with name, email, address, state, services, how often, checkbox for weekly discounts if they sign up for it, discount code, and then all the quotes. Another important column to have in this database will be the 
created time. You'll need to have a created time column for the innate in trigger to work. And from this database, you can set up a form within Airtable immediately. We can go to forms and Airtable is really nice that it will set it up based off the columns that you have already. So we can go ahead and open this and we can fill out this form to show a step-by-step -step example. So we're going to do Tom Edger, T Edger at gmail.com. And then for street address, we can use an actual real street address here. So we can just go to Zillow and we'll just pick, this one looks nice, 185 Honeybee Lane, 185 Honeybee Lane. Awesome. Services needed, just lawn mowing. How often? Let's do bi-weekly and let's sign up for a weekly discount and submit. And we can go to our table here. So now we see we have a new lead capture, Tom Edger from 185 Honeybee Lane in Austin. And we'll see we have no discount code here and no quote. So hopping back over to N8N, you'll see that in this Airtable trigger, I'm going by ID for the base ID and the table ID. And then I have an additional field called view ID right here. We can see if we go back to our table that we can get all this from the URL. So the base ID is started with app, which is right here. The table ID is started with TBL. And then an extra step here is the view ID. And I did this, as you see, database is sorted by a field. It's created time latest to earliest. So it is sorting by the latest form submission is at the top. And to use that in Aiden Airtable trigger, you will have to have a created time column, which I put there. And you'll see the trigger field created time. So we can go ahead and test this workflow to pull in Tom Edger. So clicking into the Airtable node, we see that Tom Edger with his email and street addresses here, and how often and what services he needs. So going into the next node, this is one of my favorite nodes if you've watched any of my past videos, which is the Zillow Rapid API Cert. Now there is a new API endpoint within the Zillow API that I use, and it's search by address. And so it outputs a ton of data here. Eventually, if you scroll through this enough, it gives the lot square footage, which is what we're going to be quoting off of. And then jumping into the quote calculator, it gets past the square footage, which is right here, just over 1500 square foot, and it gives the acres. So opening this up, this will be community, this entire code node here, but simply what it's doing, it has a list of all the services and kind of the base rate multiplier to be able to quote that based on the square footage or the acreage. And you'll see that it offers 10% discounts for recurring, which is bi-weekly or 5% discount for the monthly and no discounts for the mulch spring cleanup or grass fertilization as most of the time you're not going to be mulching somebody's property bi-weekly and you can add as many services as you want just adding another service structure just like this and i put maximum prices here just so there's not a ten thousand dollar quote to cut your grass if it's a 20 acre property and there's also an additional fee for properties over two acres which is a hundred dollars and the very last thing that this does that's pretty cool is it assigns a promo group and it assigns it at random and for now, it's only two promos that we have. So it's a 50-50 chance of assigning one to the other. But if you added more, obviously the math would change on that. And so the return is the price that it gives for the service that the customer signed up for. And it says lawn mowing bi-weekly discount. And you can add this into the email. And it gives a total price for if they signed up for more than one. And so then we are going to add this quote to the Airtable record, which will just be operation update and then by ID. If we go back to our Airtable trigger, it gives us the ID that we're using right here. So this helps us stay constant with updating and making sure that we're staying within the same record within Airtable. So then we update the discount code and give it one and pass on all the quotes that our code is producing. And by updating by ID, it allows for being able to update the same record for the same person if they want to add a service or if they want to change their address. And lastly, we need to update them and send them their quote. Now this is where you can integrate Stripe or you can integrate any kind of Calendly to be able to actually schedule these services. But for here, we just have their simple name, hey Tom Edger, for the bi-weekly services on your property and it gives the quotes. And it says, cheers, lawn and order team. So now that we have our customers in our database, we actually have to have a marketing team on the back end to write promos to send out to our customers. And that's exactly what this AI agent does here. It will go add promos to a database and then send those promos out to our customers in batches. So I have this on a click trigger here just for the purpose of the video. 
but in production, this will have a schedule trigger and it will just run once a month or weekly if you have a business that has weekly promos. So hopping into the AI agent, I have a super simple prompt here and it's just saying you're ahead of marketing and you'll have a monthly task of writing two promotional discounts and you'll format this as either a percent discount or a flat dollar off and kind of a range of what the discounts that I wanted it to be in. Obviously, if you have a higher ticket item, you can have these flat dollar discounts be a little bit higher, or you can play around with it if you already have a set kind of discounting system that you use. And then I have just super simple, you will use the ad promo tool to send the monthly promos to be stored in Airtable. And once the promos are written, you'll use a send promo tool to send out the promos. And I have an Airtable node here, hooking up to the business promos table that I set up. So hopping over, it's a super simple table with just name, promo one, promo two, and you can add more of these and it will fill it out for you with a discount value here. And I did the discount value here for one of two reasons. You can very easily pull this discount value into a code node, or you can pull this into another Airtable database and run the math in it, kind of like you would in Excel or Google Sheets to be able to apply discounts. Then you have the email body here, which is very simple just saying we value being a loyal customer to law and order. Now to be able to populate this and make sure that it only rewrites to these records, I use columns to match on name and I used a ton of letting AI define it. So I would click, let the model define automatically and then I gave it a description. This will be promo one, promo two, write a discount promo email for each. And then for the discount, the description is this should either be a percent or a flat dollar amount discount. And then one key element that I added was if it's a discount, express it as a decimal, i.e. 15% is listed as 0.5. Just to make the math a little bit easier. If I didn't do this, it literally would have just put 15 in there. And then for the email body, this could this should contain the discount and be a marketing email for a customer to use the discount. So letting the model define these parameters made it super simple and super easy to get this to work. And next, jumping over to the send promo tool. This is very simple. Just call this tool to send the weekly promos to everyone who signed up to the weekly promos. And it's executed here. And first we're going to get customers and we only want to filter by the customers who signed up for the weekly discount. So if we hop over to our database, we have this checkbox here from our form called get free weekly discounts. And we're able to pass this filter on by formula saying get free weekly discounts equals true. And I want to return all, but we can go ahead and test the step and see what it looks like. So you see it grabs every record that we have that signed up to the weekly discounts. Now for after this, I could have done this so many different ways. But I did it this way so if anybody's watching the video as a quick glance, they can visually see the path and know exactly what this automation is doing. And if I wanted to give it to anybody else, they could quickly see and debug if anything happened and easily grasp what the workflow is actually doing. So this switch pretty much just splits it up into promo one branch and a promo two branch. And I did a switch note here so you can add multiple routes if you wanted to do promo three, promo four. So promo one is the top kind of line here and we get the record ID of promo one. So whenever you're in business promos, if you don't have the record ID, the easiest way to get it is you can copy cell URL and open up a new browser window and you can paste it and the record ID will be in there and it will be starting with REC. So you see it ends in ET67 and you can see our record ID ends in ET67 here. And we can test this step as well. And you'll see that it gets the discount code and the email body. And lastly, we are just basically formatting the email. Obviously in production, you'll want to send this as a message and have the customer's email dynamically written in here. For this, since it is a monthly newsletter, I put exciting deals for, and then using a quick formula, just getting the current month for the monthly promos. And then a very simple email of getting the person's name using the email body that our marketing team wrote. And then thank you for your business and support. Please respond to this email to get your discount applied today. And cheers from the Lawn and Order team. And that is mirrored on the same side for the other promo. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content, liked what I did here, like, subscribe, comment, or if you want the code for this workflow, it will be available in my community where I'll be posting it, as well as posting the entire course where I set this up step-by-step step with from the Airtable, to the code nodes, 
the entire workflow and explained all of what it was doing and how it could be better, then join the community and I'll see you in there. Hopefully you at least subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.